A heat of passion is a sudden emotional experience that impairs one's ability to act rationally. In many states, a defendant who commits homicide in the heat of passion isn't as culpable as a defendant who acts with intent to kill. In Mullaney v. Wilbur, a threat to one man's masculinity led to a supreme decision about presumptions and burdens. Stillman E. Wilbur, Jr., was arrested and tried in state court for killing Claude Hebert. Wilbur claimed that Hebert made unwelcome sexual advances, which led to the fatal attack. At trial, Wilbur argued that he acted in the heat of passion. The judge instructed the jury that in Maine, homicide included murder and manslaughter. To prove either of them, the prosecution had to establish unlawfulness and intent beyond a reasonable doubt. If successful, the jury would need to choose between murder or manslaughter. The difference between them was that murder required malice aforethought. If the prosecution proved unlawfulness and intent, malice aforethought would be conclusively presumed, unless Wilbur could prove by a preponderance of evidence that he acted in the heat of passion. In other words, to reduce a murder conviction to manslaughter, Wilbur needed to prove that it was more likely than not that he killed Hebert in the heat of passion. Wilbur was convicted of murder. Wilbur appealed to the Maine Supreme Judicial Court, arguing that due process required the prosecution to prove the absence of a heat of passion beyond a reasonable doubt. The Maine Supreme Judicial Court disagreed, and Wilbur filed a writ of habeas corpus in the United States District Court for the District of Maine against Gerald S. Mullaney, a prison warden. The District Court agreed that Wilbur wasn't responsible for proving heat of passion and the United States Court of Appeals for the First Circuit affirmed. The United States Supreme Court then granted cert.